just to kill an innocent life it 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 has no reason it has no point it's better if you get give birth to that innocent life and it's god's nature god will take care uh, of that little human being a lot of people give excuse that they don't have money they are not able but who says we are able if the birds of the trees God, uh, God gives them. They don't have land, and God gives them food. And we you know, before time. before this, uh, before the whites, uh, the co they came with the word and they brought Christianity to Africa. We used to worship. We uh, Africans used to, history suggests we used to worship God Almighty. But now but the same Christianity that was brought by them, they are using their money just to exche to to tell us to redo what they taught us. The Bible they brought. They are trying to redo that by telling us we should do against what the Bible says. I'm shocked and astonished. The other day I was pissed off by say, uh, just hearing a government spokesman from the United Kingdom that he is going, he's not going to give funds to Kenya if we don't uh, respect gays and uh, uh, homosexuality. To hell with their money. They could not. They cannot just justify and rape our virgin land that is Kenneth Heber. Mm -hmm. You know something about him? I believe you've you've spoken to him. He's yeah. a he's a man who's brought yeah. r normal tours, right, of safaris, but also he has a special piece of his business bringing gay to Africa. Tell yeah. me about your conversation with well, with, he called with, me with Kenneth. He personally using my number threatening me. But what I know I and don't I'm going to, to say threaten. don't rape our country. We are a virgin country with respect God. What did Ken Heber say? He said that he knows me, he knows what I'm doing, and I, I won't go far. But I'm telling him, by the name of Allah, God, I'm going to go far. Generally, in general terms, what do you say to persons, to any persons who might be bragging or claiming that they are doing abortions, people within the medical community, doing them, Notwithstanding the fact that it is and still it illegal is in Kenya, our law, abortion is illegal, and if they continue to do that, one of these fine days they'll pay because the blood that they mm, they shed shall be. <laughs>
Huyo ambaye umemgeuza kuwa adui yako because of your prostitution. Kwa sababu ya ukahaba wako. Prostitution. Ukahaba wako in your spirit. That is what God saying to us. Mungu anatuambia nini? And what is God saying to Nineveh? Mungu anaambia ni nefa nini? There was a custom in the days of Nehum. Kulikuwa na tamaduni ya masharia wakati wa Nehum. They were a man not and caught his wife in adultery. Wakati mtu alimwacha Mungu mke wake ama mume wake na kutenda kahaba. He looks and he has found his, his woman with another man. Na ukimpata hii kama mume atampata mke wake na mume mwingine. In those days the man could take the woman mm-hmm. and mume angemchukua yule mke and tie her to a stake. Na mfunge kwenye mti before the whole city mbele ya nchi yote lifting up her skirts to reveal the nakedness underneath na kuinua nguo zake na kuonyesha uchu wake throwing pieces of trash pieces of poop from the animals na alikuwa aki, akirushiwa ilikuwa anafaa kurushiwa kinyesi cha wanyama this is what god is threatening to do to the proud city hili ni hiki ndicho ambacho Bwana wa majeshi anaahidi kuwafanyia walio na kiburi na walio ondokea njia zake. She says I am so beautiful. Anasema mimi ni mrembo. And God says you've made yourself cheap. Umefanya kuwa kitu bure. Umejifanya kuwa kitu bure. Your beauty is on the outside. Urembo wako uko nje. But inside it's ugly. Lakini ndani ni kitu ambacho kisichopendeza. And God is telling me that I'm about to show everybody what's on the inside. Na Mungu wa majeshi anasema, niko tayari kuonyesha kilicho ndani yako. Brothers and sisters, this is what the Holy Ghost is saying to the people of the USA, the people of Europe, the people of the UK, the people who lead people to be seduced by this power. Speaking with Pastor Jeffrey Bugwa again and uh, Pastor Bugwa is the pastor of House of Abundance Ministries and also the director of Hadassah School and Orphanage in Nakuru, Kenya. Uh, thank you for being willing to talk to us today, Pastor. Um, if you could comment, please, and any of your thoughts, don't limit your thoughts. Uh, I'd just like to know generally, oh, what do you have to say about the idea uh, for specifically the man, Ken Heber, Uh, has organized GayToAfrica.com and several times a year he brings groups of homosexual people, only homosexual people are allowed to come on these tours uh, to tour around Africa. And some people have voiced suspicions that they're doing more than just looking at uh, animals and going on safari that uh, because they've defined themselves by their aberrant sexual behavior of homosexuality um, that they're doing even more. Right now what are what are your thoughts on a on a tour like this? Well, me as a pastor I condemn it with the strongest term because uh, in the scripture uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because of homosexuality. I condemn it. It is not a good act. It is not an act which pleases God. Because God created man and woman. We, 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 what we are we are coming is like what God did. He did not know what he was doing by creating a woman and a man. So for me, I think those people who are doing that act, I'm praying and I'm asking God to intervene and touch them mm-hmm. so that their thought can be true. way that if, if you knew the, the time and the date that Ken Heber was going to bring a group of, of sodomites uh, through Nakuru, for instance, maybe to the park or maybe through the town, can you imagine a kind of uh, witness that could be mm-hmm. brought to them? And what could I be done? Is coming, I think I would like to have a time and preach to them mm-hmm. about what the Bible says about homosexuality. Mm-hmm. But is there a child h- here today that's an accident or a mistake in terms of God's plan? Uh, all children come from God. Yeah, they come from God. <laughs> yeah, because nobody chooses where to be born. Yeah. I think all children come from God. I'm a wimby watcher. Yeah, we're the